High above our heads, in the thin, frigid air of the stratosphere, a powerful river of wind known as the Polar Vortex spins relentlessly around the North Pole every winter. This vast, invisible current is one of the most important drivers of our planet's winter weather, shaping the fate of entire continents below. The Polar Vortex acts like a massive atmospheric lockbox, trapping and containing the planet's coldest air high above the Arctic, keeping it isolated from the lands to the south. But in late November 2025, meteorologists and climate scientists are sounding the alarm. They're forecasting the earliest and most intense sudden stratospheric warming, an SSW, ever recorded in the satellite era, a phenomenon that could rewrite the rules of winter as we know them. Picture the polar vortex as a spinning top, perfectly balanced and whirling. An SSW is like a sudden invisible gust that knocks the top off its axis sending ripples and shock waves through the entire atmosphere, from the stratosphere, down, to the surface. This dramatic transfer of energy can heat the polar stratosphere by as much as 50 degrees Celsius in just a few days. An astonishing leap that destabilizes the vortex, weakening its icy grip on the Arctic's cold reservoir and setting the stage for chaos below. What makes this event truly remarkable is its timing. Late November, weeks ahead of the usual SSW season, which typically peaks in January or February. This early arrival is unprecedented in modern meteorological records. Because the disruption is happening so early, the consequences will ripple out over the entire winter, challenging our weather models and rewriting what we thought we knew about seasonal forecasts. Meteorologists are scrambling to update their predictions. As the weakened vortex unravels, it's poised to unleash its frigid contents. But where that cold air will spill, whether into North America, Europe, or Asia, depends on how the atmospheric winds push and pull the vortex fragments. For some regions, this could mean a brutally cold and snowy season, with blizzards and deep freezes that test infrastructure and endurance. For others, paradoxically, the same disruption could bring a milder, less snowy winter, as the cold air bypasses them entirely, and heads elsewhere. The stage is set for a winter of dramatic contrasts and unpredictable twists, with weather that could change rapidly from one week to the next. This is more than just a story of atmospheric science. It's a headline event with real-world consequences for millions, affecting everything from energy demand to travel plans and daily life. As the sun rises over the snow-covered northern hemisphere, the curtain is about to rise on a spectacular and unpredictable atmospheric show, one that will be watched, studied, and remembered for years to come. This historic event is the result of three major climate drivers aligning perfectly. First, a weak La Nina in the Pacific cools sea surface temperatures, rippling through global weather and favoring high-pressure systems that disrupt the vortex. Second, the quasi-biennial oscillation or QBO is in its easterly phase, making the polar vortex less stable and more vulnerable. Third, Record low sea ice in the Barents and Kara Seas means more heat released into the atmosphere, fueling a powerful high-pressure block. This block acts like a mountain deflecting air and sending energy waves straight into the polar vortex. Each factor alone can influence winter, but all three peaking together creates the recipe for this historic disruption. It's a perfect storm of atmospheric conditions, loading the dice for a major shakeup. The vortex isn't just facing one challenge, it's being hit from all sides. Let's zoom in on the quasi-biennial oscillation, or QBO, high in the stratosphere above the equator, winds alternate between blowing east and west every 28 months. This slow, steady pulse is one of the most reliable signals in our climate system. The switch in wind direction starts high and descends, like a curtain lowering. For winter 2025, the QBO is in its easterly phase, a critical detail. Easterly QBO weakens the polar vortex, making it less robust and more prone to disruption. It's like a boxer entering the ring already dizzy, easier to knock down. In contrast, a westerly QBO strengthens the vortex, locking cold air at the pole. This winter's easterly QBO is a key reason forecasters expect the vortex to be in trouble. The sit and saw read the Tim Iberdam is the pradame a dan re the for tried brodidi the option can put it right. With the vortex weakened, the Arctic's delicate balance is thrown into chaos. The polar vortex, which usually acts as a barrier keeping frigid air locked over the pole, starts to lose its grip. The real shock comes from the record low sea ice in the Barents and Kara Seas. 
These vast stretches of open water, where thick ice once dominated, now absorb the sun's energy and release extra heat into the atmosphere. Extra heat from open water fuels a stubborn high-pressure dome, creating a powerful atmospheric block that disrupts normal weather patterns. This dome is especially strong from the North Pacific toward Alaska, acting like a wall that redirects the flow of air. This block forces the jet stream to buckle, twisting and contorting its usual path. As the jet stream bends, it sends a surge of energy upward into the stratosphere, disturbing the upper layers of the atmosphere. When this energy wave hits the polar vortex, it delivers a powerful jolt. It strikes from the side like a cue ball in billiards, knocking the vortex off balance. The vortex is shoved off its axis, not shattered but displaced, spinning away from its usual home. This is what scientists call a displacement SSW, a sudden stratospheric warming event that moves the vortex. The vortex is pushed thousands of miles from the North Pole, remaining largely intact but now hovering over new regions. November 2025 models show this happening with startling clarity, revealing the dramatic shift in real time. The result is a complete reorganization of the Arctic atmosphere, with winds and clouds swirling in new, unexpected patterns. The North Pole warms under high pressure, basking in unusual sunlight and calm. Meanwhile, the vortex, still spinning with frigid air, moves south, carrying Arctic cold to lower latitudes. This displacement unlocks the Arctic's deep freeze, unleashing bitter cold far from its source. It sets the stage for extreme weather outbreaks, blizzards, ice storms, and record-breaking cold snaps. The cold is no longer contained, spilling across continents and transforming winter as we know it. Once the vortex is knocked off the pole, it doesn't just disappear, it drifts southward, and this time, forecasts say it's settling over Scandinavia. This is a dramatic shift, with the heart of the Arctic's cold now moving far from its usual home. Imagine the Arctic's powerful atmospheric engine parking itself over Norway, Sweden, and Finland. These countries, already known for their cold winters, suddenly become the epicenter of Arctic weather, with temperatures and wind patterns more extreme than usual. This shift radically transforms the entire hemisphere's weather map. The usual boundaries between cold and mild air are redrawn, and the ripple effects can be felt thousands of miles away. With the vortex now spinning over Scandinavia, anti-clockwise winds set up a new circulation pattern, changing the direction and strength of the jet stream. On the western side, over Greenland and the North Atlantic, winds blow straight from the north, opening a direct channel for frigid Arctic air to surge into North America. This can trigger sudden cold snaps and even major winter storms. Meanwhile, the North Pole itself sits under a dome of high pressure and warms up, while the displaced vortex brings intense cold much farther south than normal, even reaching deep into Europe. This dramatic reversal is the hallmark of a major sudden stratospheric warming event, or SSW, a rare but powerful atmospheric phenomenon. The coldest air is no longer locked at the top of the world, but instead spills over northern Europe, shifting pressure gradients and rewriting local weather patterns for weeks. Once the vortex is displaced, it can take weeks, sometimes even longer, to recover, locking in these new, sometimes extreme weather patterns for much of the season. The late November displacement doesn't just cause a brief cold snap, it sets the theme for the entire winter shaping what millions will experience. The big question is, which side of this new pattern will you be on? Will you face relentless snow and cold, or will your winter be milder and wetter than usual? For the US and Canada, the message is clear, brace for a deep freeze. With the vortex over Scandinavia, its circulation funnels Arctic air straight into central Canada and the US. This cross-polar flow creates an express lane for Siberian cold, setting up a December of severe, persistent cold. The cold will plunge deep into the US, risking damaging frosts and record lows. As Arctic air clashes with warmer air, major snowstorms are likely across the Midwest, Northeast, and even the South. The pattern favors repeated rounds of snow and a high chance of a white Christmas. This winter could be one for the history books, starting early, hitting hard and sticking around. North America should prepare for a classic, brutally cold winter. While North America faces severe cold Europe's fate is less certain, 
a true weather lottery. With the vortex over Scandinavia, much of central western and southern Europe could see a milder, wetter winter. The anti-clockwise flow pulls mild moist Atlantic air across the continent, bringing gray skies and above average temperatures, but a slight shift in the vortex's position could flip the script. If the vortex moves east, a blocking high could form over Scandinavia, pulling frigid Siberian air westward, the classic beast from the east. Europe's outcome hinges on the vortex's final position. A tiny wobble could mean the difference between rain and a deep freeze. Millions from London to Rome are at the mercy of this atmospheric game of chance. One event, two wildly different winters. Here's the paradox. Having the polar vortex over Scandinavia might make Europe warmer, not colder. The vortex is a spinning low-pressure system, its anti-clockwise winds pull mild Atlantic air into Western and Central Europe, so even with Arctic cold nearby, these regions get a steady stream of maritime warmth. For a true deep freeze, you need a blocking high over Scandinavia, which reverses the flow and drags Siberian air west. That's what brought the beast from the east in 2018. This paradox explains why the winter of 2025 is such a nail-biter for Europe. If the models are off and a high forms instead, Europe could plunge into extreme cold. The type and position of pressure systems mean the difference between raincoats and parkas for millions. While this SSW is exceptional, it's not without precedent. In November 2009, a weaker early season SSW displaced the vortex, leading to a famously cold snowy winter on both sides of the Atlantic. The 2009 event shows even minor disruptions can set the tone for severe winters. Now, the 2025 event is forecast to be much stronger, with more perfectly aligned ingredients. The consequences could be even more extreme, making 2009 look modest. These shifts affect everything from heating bills to infrastructure and daily life. The stratospheric surprise of 2025 is a reminder of our planet's dynamic, interconnected nature. As we watch this unfold, we witness the awesome power of nature in action.